Well, hello there, stamping friends. It's Tracy Rather from Plum Crazy Stamping. So glad that you're joining me on what has been a very rainy morning here in Wisconsin, and we have certainly needed the rain, but actually the sun is probably going to come out and be a very hot and humid day. But I guess I'll take that over how I'll be complaining about the cold in February. Anyway, celebrating summer today. Today's July 26th, 2023. If you are joining me today um, live, please uh, put your name and where you're watching from in the comments. And also, if you have any questions or feedback on the project, please also use the comments for that. And if you're watching on the replay, please also introduce yourself and let me know if you have any questions from today's project. I do watch the broadcast after we finish to see if there's anything that I can do to help you. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to continue using the Fresh as a Daisy Suite that we um, used last week. Let me go ahead and I'm going to put the camera down. So you know that this goes upside down for just a moment. And you'll see my desktop, okay? And then I'm going to have to catch up my computer so that I can see your sign-ins and if you have any questions. All right, we are good to go. So I am on page 110 and 111 of the annual catalog that features this suite. And I have to tell you, I think it's a pretty good deal. For $73.50, you get the stamp set, the die set, um, the uh, 12 by 12 designer series paper, and the um, gems. So this is a really good deal. And also, I just want to let you know that I'm doing some special offers this month in light of this suite being featured. So I just want to remind you that if you purchase this suite before the end of the month, I have a free four card tutorial with all of the instructions, paper cutting measurements, pictures of the process of making these cards, as well as a supply list for all of them. And this is very detailed and that will be absolutely free. The other thing that Stampin' Up! is doing this month, if you were to buy this uh, for $73.50, you would earn a $5 coupon because for every $50 that you purchase, they're giving you a $5 coupon that you can redeem in the month of August. And Plum Crazy Stamping, I'm also, for a $50 purchase, providing another free four-card tutorial with the Rainer Shine Suite. And I have been using that in uh, earlier this month on my Facebook Lives. And so you would actually get two free tutorials as well as that bonus coupon. So if you like what you're seeing and think that the daisies may be something for you, it might be a great time to add that to your collection. Let me just get that out of the way and um, show you a little bit of this 12 by 12 paper. So the daisies are very much featured on one side and then the other side is a neutral. And you're going to see how that plays into our card design today because we're going to feature designer series paper, actually this one, and what is on the other side, and it'll be gorgeous. So anyway, I think these colors are so pretty, and uh, that's one of the reasons I had to get this when the new catalog came out. It was one of the first things I bought because I like it so much. Um, when I was doing... Um, some videos on Scraptacular, I shared with you, I always save this back piece uh, from the uh, designer series paper. I keep the plastic that it's in, but because they write so small on here, I write in larger print all the colors that are involved. So when I'm designing my card, I can look at the colors and what do I want to feature. So that's how I started working on today's card. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is the designer series paper 
has all of these different colors in. So not only the new Stampin' Up! colors, retired, um, well not retired, current colors, but all five of the 2023 to 2025 card uh, stock colors or color family is in there. And I'm deciding that I'm going to use this today as well. So we're going to use some Moody Mauve and some Wild Wheat today in the card that we're making along with the designer series paper and last week if you'll remember i used the one piece of designer series paper that had multiple card fronts and so um i did these in that uh 30 minute challenge so if you haven't been able to watch it in 29 minutes i was able to make these eight cards and this was from one piece of designer series paper and then just stamping and using the um, same in color cardstock. So I just wanted to remind you how easy um, this was. And so there are the eight cards I made last week. So I'm gonna feature some different designer series paper today, but um, since there were two pieces of this paper that had all these background um, colors on it, I actually made 16 cards in just a few hours, and there were four different um, sentiments included in the stamp set that worked really well, too. So uh, it kind of got a lot of traction for me to get things in the mailbox, which is always, you know, one of the challenges that I have trying to do it as fast as I can. So let's see here. Now my uh, feed went a little crazy and I want to see your comments. So let's see who's on today. There we go. No, it doesn't want to go back to that. There, sorry. Okay, so now I can look at your comments and see who's here. Betty, hello. Kathy, hello. Carol, nice to see you ladies. Okay, so this is the stamp set we're going to use today. Um, the Cheerful Daisies, which is a part of that set. And I am not going to use the die cuts. I know someone had asked me if these cut out the daisies. And the answer to the question is, yes, they do. And I will be providing a video later this month that shows you exactly what all these die cuts look like when they're cut out. I just ran out of time to be able to provide that for you today. So I'm going to set those aside right now. And let's take a peek at the card we're going to do. So we're going to do what is called a pocket card. And this actually comes out for your message. And this is just one piece of designer series paper, just a portion of it. And then I used a couple of the stamps in the stamp set in addition to uh, the inspiration um, sentiment from that. So let's go ahead. And when you see how easy this card is, oh, I think you're going to find a new favorite design. Now, just a reminder, the stamps that are in the stamp set, Cheerful Daisies, are photopolymer. So I'm going to have to use my pierce mat today for stamping. We're going to use bubble bath. So this is one of the new uh, colors that were added when the color refresh happened with this catalog. Now this is actually my card base. It's just a single piece. Uh, literally this is one fourth of a eight and a half by 11 inch piece of card stock. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I took a portion of that designer series paper and this is actually cut at four inches by uh, 10 and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna have to score this to get ready to do our fun folding. So let me get out my trimmer here and we'll go ahead and score this. And since my score is gonna be beyond six inches, I need to open the arm of my trimmer to do that. And one of the nice things is if you have the Stampin' Up! trimmer, the blade to score and to cut is on this trimmer. If you don't have this trimmer, we have the scoring buddy where you can do your scoring. So whatever works with the tools that you have um, will be wonderful. 
And so my first score is going to be at nine and a quarter. So I get the cutting blade out of the way here. And since this is designer series paper, I don't push too hard because you can be at risk to tearing your paper, um, you know, with any scoring blade. So just be mindful of that. So the first score was at nine and a quarter. The next one is going to be at five and a quarter. And so I'll just score that. All right, we are done with what we need to do with the trimmer. And we have our scoring. So then for the inside pocket, we need another piece of uh, bubble bath. And this one is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And I know that's kind of, um, some people don't like using eighths, but remember, seven eighths will be between five inches and four and three quarters. So it's that middle mark in between those quarter, quarter inch increments, okay? So once again, this is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Then I need the end piece of uh, the card insert, if you will, and this is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. So three and a half by four and three quarters, and you'll see that that will just have a very thin border around it to put inside the pocket card. I have a two and a half inch by two and a half inch piece of basic white that I'm going to do my stamping on. Just to speed things up, I took a little scrap that I had and um, stamped the uh, flower center and cut it out to just speed things up. So I'll just set that there. So that was just a scrap. And then we're also going to need a quarter inch strip by four and a quarter inches to wrap around um, the fun fold to actually um, hold it together for sliding our pocket card in and out, okay? So those are the pieces that you need. Let's go ahead and get our stamping done before we put our card together. So I'll just set these things off to the side and we're going to stamp um, a daisy and we're going to stamp the sentiment on the uh, card insert here. I'm first gonna use the Moody Mauve to do the sentiment on my card insert. So let me kind of get this all together here. I really like the font and the size of this sentiment that says, you made my day. There's so many opportunities I have to uh, use this stamp uh, and this sentiment. Always watch your acrylic block for any stray ink, especially when you have brand new stamp pads, because they're always so juicy. Anyway, then let me just, I'm going to do this just a little way from the top, and I want a little bit of white on each side of it once I put it in the pocket. So there we have, you made my day, and I have a little ink smudge on here, but I'll show you how I can get rid of that, because my thumb got in the ink. So you can try wiping it off on your Simply Chamois and see if you can't do that. But there is, let me find my little fix-it tool here. I'm going to close the stamp pad before I get something else with Moody Mauve or I don't want it. And anyway, this is called a sand eraser. Now, this is by Tombow. We don't have this in the Stampin' Up! catalog. I happen to get mine at Michael's. I know that you can buy them online and other crafting stores. And what it actually does is it just sands off the top paper fibers on your cardstock, and it's literally erased. So I want you to know Anything can be fixed, and this is a wonderful little tool. So once again, it's a Tombow Sand Eraser, and the product number is 512A. And it says for ink on it, so I use that a whole lot. All right, so we've got that stamping done. Let's go ahead now and stamp our um, daisy. I'm going to do that in wild wheat. 
And this is a really good example. These are distinctive stamps, so they look textured, and they are also two-step. So there's one stamp that has more lines. That's the one that I'm going to stamp in the actual Wild Wheat color. And then the second stamp fills that in, and I'm going to stamp this one off so it's lighter so that you can see the outline of the daisy. The other thing that I did when I mounted these on my um, acrylic blocks is I mounted them exactly the same and lined them up. It makes it so much easier when you're lining them up um, and doing your second step with your stamping. So that's just a little inside tip that uh, helps you to line things up. And also with all these petals, they sometimes end up looking all the same and you can't find the right petal to line up. This just also takes me less time then. Okay, so remember this I'm going to do first generation from the ink pad right onto the white cardstock. Okay. There we've got our first uh, stamped image of the daisy. Then I'm going to stamp the next one. And this set is cool. It has three different sized daisies, three different shaped daisies that ha each daisy has two stamps, one with the line image and one with the um, coloring it in. Now, you might see my hair for a minute here because I do have to go right over this to make sure that I matched. If it isn't perfect, it's art, so don't get worried about it. But there you go. So let me kind of show that to you up close. I just love the way that looks. So once again, this is the new Wild Wheat color. And at first, I didn't know if I was going to like it. But I actually do like it. It's kind of a cool olive green mustard, if that makes any sense. But I think especially as I continue to use this with, um, you know, as fall comes around, I think that I'm really going to have a lot of uses for this. All right. So let's put that off to the side. Now, I did make this so that it could fit on the front of the card. Let me show you the difference here. I decided, um, I first just set this on here. If you don't want to fussy cut this out, or you don't have the dies to cut it out, you can just leave it on the white square if you want. I really thought I wanted to fussy cut it and pop it up because I love the way that that looked better. So that's what I'm going to do with this. But I got ink on my finger again, so I got to wash that off. Okay. And then I thought to go with the, the colors we have here. I did use the bubble bath on the flower center and um, pop that up again. So let me, I'll be showing you that, but let me fussy cut this out for you because I don't feel like getting the cut and boss machine uh, out here. And for fussy cutting, if you haven't done it, the trick is to move the paper, not your scissors, and just follow along and I always leave a white border. And you can get very detailed, you can leave more white, less white, you know, that's all up to you. And depending upon what I'm doing, I may pick to do it a little closer or a little further away or how much time I have. So, um, it just takes a little practice, but it's really pretty easy. Sometimes I'll stamp a bunch of images, and then, you know, let's say I'm watching back my soap opera, Young and the Restless, then I'll sit and cut a number of these out. So, um, it's kind of that. Don't have to think about it, just kind of mosey along with your little scissors and get them cut out when you're making multiples of a card in particular. I was talking to one of my friends on the phone and she was trying to decide 
on her stamping order what she wanted to get because she loves this uh, paper that I used last week for cards. And she actually reminded me we had some previous Daisy uh, stamp sets. Daisy Lane. And I know there's one more. Plus there's two punches. I think they call it a medium and the large Daisy. <clears throat> you could pair that so easily with this um, stamp set. I would encourage you to do that. Like I was hoping to do some of the punching of the daisies uh, to go along with today's uh, demo, but I just have a lot going on right now, so I did not do it, but I am going to be pulling that out because I think it's gonna be gorgeous together with this uh, designer series paper. All right, let me get the pierce mat out of our way, and now let's go ahead and put our fun fold together. And you're going to see how very easy this is to make such a striking card. So let's first go ahead and just make the uh, insert for our pocket. And I'm just going to turn this upside down. And for speed's sake today, I'm going to use my stamp and seal instead of the uh, multi-purpose glue. But obviously, either one will work. And so remember, this has a very thin border. And if you can kind of line it up from the corner and get those two sides, then for the most part, the rest of it will be in alignment as well. So that's the insert. Now let's go ahead and take our piece of um, designer series paper. And at the five and a quarter score, I'm going to just fold that forward. And then I'm going to fold down at that nine and a quarter inch so that I have just a little bit of what's the second side of the designer series paper showing. Okay, this is going to get attached to that uh, one fourth piece of the eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. So I'm just going to put my Oops, I, you know what I need to do though before I do this? I need to wrap this around. Now you're gonna see this. It is gonna be a very tiny bit. I tried to see if I could do this without needing to do too much. This is the thing that attaches so that card insert will go in between. And now I've really left myself quite really small tab. Um, so it's pushing it. I probably would make it longer. I was trying to save cardstock. So if you can see there's this tiny tab, I am just going to scotch tape that right on here. Just want to keep my tape so that you won't be able to see it. And I want to make sure that I'm doing this straight. So let me get it on the other side here. So I'm sure that it's straight. Okay, and I just need another little piece. And I have that tab. So what it is, is four and a quarter inches. And this piece of designer series paper is four inches across. So I couldn't have got it much smaller than that. The reason I did that is because this is the only point that this is together. And this is open on the side. And it's not created a problem for the pocket card, but you don't have to make your card smaller. If you wanted to put a line of um, tear and tape, you would just have to cut this smaller. Actually, I forgot to wrap this around. So on this one, I just cut a quarter inch off of... Um, one side of the white and one side of the pink and made the card smaller and that worked with tear and tape then so you know you can kind of mess around with the measurements if you want to but if you want to keep it simple just use a longer piece here i would use five inches and then you'll have more of the tab on the back and so now i'm going to actually put i have the adhesive at the top here i'm going to put it at the bottom and just to make sure these tabs don't let loose I'm going to put this um, seal um, right where that tab is to give it another 
um, I guess a little more insurance that it won't pop off here. And then I just need to center this on the card base. And then you don't need to um, glue this down. You could stick some mini glue dots under there if you want to, but this piece of cardstock will hold it in place. And then I'm going to um, use my dimensionals behind this daisy to put that on the front. And I'm also going to use one dimensional on the center of this daisy to even make that uh, pop up a little more. And even with that, you'll be able to put this in a regular medium sized envelope to send to someone in the mail. I'm going to go ahead and center that daisy right there. I decided to do the bubble bath. I could have done that or I could have done moody mauve. It all would look nice for the center of that um, flower. Okay. And then you just slide this in and you can center that and you've got your sentiment. You could stamp another little daisy on the inside of this white before you put it on the pink if you wanted to. And then I got the great idea from one of my friends that wouldn't this be a great thing in spring to send someone some seeds. Now this, unfortunately, I wish I would add daisy seeds. It would be perfect. But look at, I can slide this right in behind there. You won't even see it. But out comes the seeds. You've got this whole packet. And then it's done with the daisies. I really thought that that was uh, a unique idea. So with that, I'm going to just take a peek here, see if you had any questions along the way. Yeah, Kathy, I'm sure wishing that you had ordered the paper. You can still get it, though. Um, hi, Tracy Smith, Mary Ellen, and you have both those punches. Yeah, you know what? I would love to see any of your cards. You know you can post a picture of your cards as a comment on this post. So I would love for uh, any of you to make a card using this suite or the older daisy sets that we have and the uh, punches. Hello, Donna. Nice to see you. Um, and just kind of let's see what we can do with some daisies. They're so, so happy. So anyway, let me go ahead and I'm going to flip this up and just say thanks a lot for joining me today as we were playing with uh, Fresh as a Daisy Suite. And uh, remember, if you want to get a couple of free tutorials and a $5 coupon, if you buy this suite by the end of the month, all three of those bonuses will be yours. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at Tracy, T-R-A-C-I, at PlumCrazyStamping.com. Happy stamping, folks. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye.